Once you master 50-50 on a fun box, it's time to try a board slide. A board slide is one of the most stylish and versatile grind tricks around. Today we're going to teach you the basics of a backside board slide. For a backside board slide, you're going to approach the box with a little bit of speed, hop onto it, spin 90 degrees in the air, land soft on the box, slide for a little ways, and pop off the end and ride away clean. In most snowboard tricks, front side and back side describes the way you're going to rotate. But it's a little different with boxes and rails. Although you will technically be spinning front side, it's called a back side board slide because of the way you approach the box. Front side, back side, that stuff's confusing. But what's not confusing is the trick itself because you already know how to do it from all sorts of boring, crappy stuff you've been doing in everyday life. Landing the right trick starts with finding the right feature and for your first board slide the right feature is a beginner fun box with a ride on ramp. A slight gap is okay too. Should be about one to two feet wide, one to two feet off the snow and the landing should be clean, no ruts or ice. It's a good idea to check the edges of the box for burrs or rough spots to prevent catching an edge. Now that you found the right feature Go somewhere flat and practice the right movements. Heck, save a lift ticket and do this in your backyard. Let's start with the pop. Strap both feet in and do a few straight pops to warm up. Get low and spring up evenly with both feet. Now add a 90 degree rotation. You shouldn't need to use your arms to get the full rotation. Just dig in with your toe edge and turn your hips. Now throw down a stick or draw a line in the snow. Pop and land on a flat base with the stick right between your feet. Notice that you have to start off to one side to land in the middle of the stick. It's really, really important to keep your base flat when you're riding a fun box. Uh, and you'll want to practice this as much as you can, but the good news is you already know how to do it. There's a ton of ways to practice that don't even require a lift ticket. What you want to do is keep your knees really bent, your back arched, and stick your butt out. It's a lot like pooing in the woods. The reason you've got to have a flat board is to avoid slipping back. The motion is virtually the same as riding on the back of this cart. Hop on with soft legs and keep your knees over your toes and shoulders over your knees. Just like on a box, if you sit back, you'll fall backwards. Now that you've got the pop and posture, it's time to put it all together. My favorite drill goes a little something like this. Take off board. Put board on snow. Stand at a 90 degree angle to your board, even with one of your bindings. We're going to jump, land on the board like it's a board slide, doesn't matter which binding it is. If you do it right, the board's going to act like it's in a board slide. If you do it wrong, you're going to fall like you did it wrong in a board slide. When you feel ready, head to a beginner box and do a few 50-50s to warm up. Then, if you're lucky and you have a friend or a coach available, have them help you onto the box and stop. From this position you could practice the board slide without actually sliding. Hop into a board slide. There we go. We want your knees over your toes. We want your shoulders over your knees. Your head looking at the end of the box. Even more flex. There we go. Now pop back to a 50-50. Back to a board slide. Back to a 50-50. Remember to land soft. This is metal, not snow. Back to a board slide. Now we're going to give you the feeling of what it's like to slide. Drive your shoulders and your knees forward as you're moving forward. If you've actually done all the steps we described in this video, you're more than ready for the real thing and extremely patient because we went on and on. Start high enough above the box to get the right speed and ride straight at it. Try not to make too many turns leading up to the ramp. It'll just put you off balance. It's easier to approach a couple inches off to the side of the box. Left side if you're goofy, right side if you're regular. Pop when your front foot reaches the box and land with soft knees to cushion the impact. Maintain a flat base with that good posture we went on and on about and stick your butt out. If you feel like you're going to come off to one side, don't worry about it. Just go with it and drop off a little early. Never fight to stay on. At the end, give yourself a little pop and turn your shoulders to ride away. 
Practice a few more times, going a little bit faster after each one. Soon you'll be able to show off all your sweet jibbing skills to your friends in the park, in your own backyard, or in the grocery store. Once you've got your board slides nailed, it's time to take it to a rail.